Nature keeps surprising us every time we discover its vast abundance. In today's video, we'll take a look at some of the most bizarre and scary plants you never knew existed. Brace yourself, because this ride will be like none other before. We'll go back in time to the ages of Moses and the burning bush, and a lot more. Stay tuned. Number 5. Hydnellum pecky the Latin name of this exotic plant species is Hydnellum pecky, and it's native to North America and Europe. Several aspects of this plant make it scary, and one of the distinctive aspects of these hynoids is that it produces spores on their surface. It's identified by a couple of names globally like bleeding tooth fungus, strawberries and cream, red juice tooth, bleeding Hydnellum, and the devil's tooth, various forms of describing its weird appearance. On their surface, tooth-like projections are hanging underneath the fruit bodies, and blood-like fluid is visible on the surface, hence the wanting names. These species grow near coniferous trees, which are beneficial to their existence. If you want to possibly taste this mushroom species, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but they're not edible at all. Their texture is similar to that of the bark of a tree. Who'd want to chew on tree bark? This species is pretty invasive and they can grow on patches of land near fir trees. If you're planning a stakeout to look for the devil's tooth, check from a nearby mature forest with a lot of organic matter in the surroundings. The other fascinating fact about the Hydnellum pecky is its close similarity to fir trees. Its roots grow deep in the soil and only the fruit appear at the top. The mutual relationship is because of the CO2 they produce. It helps in the nourishment and growth of the devil's tooth. What you probably didn't know is that the species actually has medicinal benefits. People claim it can help cure pneumonia. Scientists are working very closely to reveal more benefits of this plant. A certain compound in the plant is also known to potentially help Alzheimer's. That's pretty cool. Who would have pictured such a weird looking plant to be so beneficial to mankind? Surely looks are deceiving. Number 4. The Burning Bush when I say the burning bush, I don't literally mean the burning bush from the biblical times of Moses. Scientists have revealed to us yet another thrilling plant species, famously identified as the burning bush, or by its Latin name, Euonymus alatus. The reason for this weird name comes from its bright red fall coloring. The winged spindle is a species native to Korea, Japan, and parts of China. The burning bush actually earns its popularity as an ornamental plant in gardens and parks due to its beauty. The bright pink or orange fruit and red fall color make an epic scenery to admire. However, being a respectable species in horticultural society, it's still considered an invasive species, especially in the woodlands of North America. The burning bush earned mixed reactions from florists and residents, with some terming them as an important aspect of the landscape and others banning their sale and importation in places like Massachusetts, Maine, and a portion of New Hampshire. China's found medicinal usages for the corky stems of the burning bush and they use them to treat cancer and diabetes among other ailments. What makes the burning bush potentially invasive is the fruits are easy to pollinate. When birds eat from them and move miles away to a different place, they sprout up right away. This can lead to plants getting out of hand and subduing other plant life within and beyond their vicinity. Number 3. The Destroying Angel Mushrooms, mushrooms, and more mushrooms. Mushrooms are a delicacy in most homes. We have them with roasted chicken or steak, and they melt in your mouth. You can't help but want more. But have you ever thought about what goes into picking these little fellas on the farm? The most important thing is farmers need to know how to differentiate the edible mushroom from the non-edible ones, and that's a list of over 4,000 species. A couple of them are highly toxic to humans if ingested. One of the most toxic of its kind happened to be nicknamed the Destroying Angel. She adorns an almost pure white cap with a yellow-green stain in the middle of it. Their normal appearance includes a white pigmentation, a cap on top with gill-like features underneath. Its Latin name is Amanita verosa, and it's native to Great Europe. If you're keen, you'll realize these large fruiting bodies shoot up during summer and autumn. The close resemblance with other edible mushrooms is a bit hard to tell. Before consuming any mushrooms, thorough research needs to be carried out. The Destroying Angel is a deadly poisonous fungus. 
That means accidental consumption leads to serious kidney and liver complications, if not ending someone's life. This is one scary species, and the fact that it resembles other mushrooms is what makes it even worse. What's even more threatening is the symptoms you might have after ingesting the destroying angel only show up hours after consumption, making the situation even more tricky to manage. Needless to say, I'm not gonna go picking mushrooms for myself anytime soon. Number 2. The Porcupine Tomato As the name Porcupine Tomato suggests, this plant could be a true replica of a porcupine if it ever turned into being a tomato. It's thornier than the thorniest roses you've ever stumbled upon. This petrifying feature is a nightmare for anyone who comes about one in their garden one morning, mostly because the porcupine tomato isn't a fruitful plant. It's actually a kind of weed that rampages the soils of any garden it chooses, and it spreads like wildfire. It prickles through produce and causes you massive waste. And if you think about it, the worst part is this plant is nearly untouchable without tools because of how well it adorns its thorns. But forget that, it's worse. Every part of this plant is highly poisonous. You should watch out the most for its leaves and flowers. They release a toxin, whose name is difficult to pronounce so I'll skip that. This toxicity is harmful to humans and animals alike. It causes some kind of cardiac disturbance that leads to one's demise within an hour or less of contact. No wonder it's been nicknamed the Devil's Spawn. Even though it has such a terrifying name, many people still plant it in their gardens and pots because of the aesthetic it gives off. All I can say is I wish them well with this endeavor. Seeing as that simple act of fulfilling your curiosity could turn into a deadly trap. The one good thing about this plant is it keeps invasive animals and weeds away, but there's still a risk and they can cause your regular plants to die. If you keep this plant, be sure to wear some protective gear. Number 1. The Giant Hogweed The giant hogweed is one of the most bizarre plant species there is in existence. It originates from western regions of Europe and Asia. The Heracleum mantagazianum can be best described as a species that doesn't form woody stems but instead remain soft and succulent, like the carrot family. The giant hogweed is highly beneficial, and it's been introduced in countries like Britain, the US, and Canada as an ornamental plant. The sap of the giant cow parsley is phototoxic, and it's known to cause dermatitis in humans, a very specific form that causes inflammation of the skin when in contact with ultraviolet rays. Ouch! It looks like one painful experience that only gets worse as time goes by. Once you start experiencing symptoms like blisters and scars, you better seek medical treatment fast. Under ideal conditions, the typical height of mature giant hogweed stand at about 5.5 meters. It's easily identifiable from its prominent white hairs, as well as a bright green pigmentation on the stem and dark reddish purple splotches. Trust me, you cannot miss these distinctive features from a mile away. The glorious ornamental plant species should be handled with great care whenever one decides to get close to it. In a place like Canada, it's been categorized as a nauseous plant species. Not shocking from a plant that can give you third degree burns. The giant hogweed is abundant in lots of places. It's important we safely coexist with this ornamental plant life. At least now, you'll have the basic knowledge about this bizarre and truly scary plant. At least now, you're enlightened on the basic knowledge about this bizarre and truly scary plant. But this brings us to the end of our topic today. Hope you enjoyed the journey through nature's vast botanic world. At least now you know which plants to keep away from. And with this information, you might be able to save a friend too. See you next time.